Hello, now I can say all the things that I didn't say on the field. <laughs> it's very hard to speak on the field, but uh, it is uh, it is a deep honor, I must say. I, I, I hope I express that uh, to, uh, been a, to be a, inducted into the Padres Hall of Fame. It was a point of pride for all of us who were here from uh, 75, excuse me, from 95, the end of 94, really, uh, through 2001. And then we went back to the Red Sox and a lot of things that we learned here and perfected here, practiced here, uh, were very useful to us at the Red Sox, to be sure. A lot of the people who were, um, who I did an inadequate job of thanking. It really is a, a team effort and there is a, uh, uh, the element that uh, that is most important is caring, and people did care. They cared about keeping baseball in San Diego. They cared about building the right kind of ballpark. They cared about having uh, a stability and enjoyment uh, derived from the uh, baseball team. And uh, and um, we were we were lucky to have so many talented and interesting people who were supportive. So let me, I should, I could go on at long length and let me stop and just uh, see if you have any questions. The uh, connection between the success of 98 and the vote, obviously that reminded San Diegans how much they cared about baseball. One of the things that led up to 98 was your hiring of Kevin Towers, which at the time was a big surprise to us. In retrospect, was quite inspired. What did you see in KT that you went from having him on your search committee to making him your choice? I saw in KT um, the essential element of a general manager, the ability to evaluate players. That was what it was about. It was not about uh, taking good notes. It was not about public speaking. It was about being able to evaluate people and in an honest and, uh, way. And I saw in, in, in Kevin Towers both the honesty and the evaluative history that convinced me he was the right guy. I remember when we chose Kevin, I was told by the other finalists that uh, I was the laughing stock of baseball to uh, choose Kevin Towers over him. And Kevin went on to stay here for the next 15 years, I believe, and enjoy great success. And uh, much of the uh, success of the current Red Sox, actually uh, current Red Sox, excuse me, current Padres is built on the foundation that was uh, laid by Kevin Towers. So it was one of the best decisions I made in, in all my time. Larry, I don't know the last time you were at Petco Park, but what was it like for you today to drive into Petco Park, see what this place has turned into, and also the surrounding neighborhoods around it? Well, it was really a, a prideful trip in, I must say. I came in with Charles Steinberg and Tom Catlin, and uh, we kept pointing to different uh, buildings that were not here many years ago and how much development has happened. And this ballpark is uh, I've done five ballparks now, and uh, this ballpark is the best example of a public-private civic team success. The uh, it has been very successful for the team, which is now stabilized and secure and in, in San Diego for the foreseeable future, and it's also proven to be a great uh, urban development device for the city of San Diego and has resulted in, in enormous changes to this uh, part of downtown. Now, uh, maybe not too many cities uh, had this opportunity downtown. We were fortunate, San Diego still did. And, uh, but it's, uh, it, it proves to be a, uh, a win-win proposition and that's what we shoot for everywhere we go, but we really, hit it well here and we're really pleased about that you know you mentioned one of your previous lives of, of you know the redskins and, and the orioles and then from here you go on to the red Sox and doing what you're doing now and um, I'm, I'm curious what what is the kind of san diego area er, era of your career kind of what you know what do you identify with it what do you think about when you think about being in san diego and getting this done and everything else ted leitner uh, uh said it so well he said uh, it was it was camelot in a sense it was a really good 
time. The stone was at the bottom of the hill, make no mistake, at the end of 94. I tried to say that with respect to revenues and one lost record and season tickets and attendance. The stone was, we were last and uh, we were ripe for contraction. Uh, when I talked to Peter O'Malley about coming out to San Diego, and uh, what did he think of it? He said, no, don't come to San Diego. They, they, uh, they, San Diego is a part of the Dodger market, you know, and uh, the games were being televised in San Diego. The Dodger games were being televised in San Diego. And uh, so uh, that, that has changed uh, tremendously. And, uh, and we were all uh, active in our jobs but uh, we were really eager. I put point to Charles Steinberg as an example of someone who was uh, eager that we do things in a big way, in the right way, so that we could uh, help San Diego and help the team at the same time. It was more than a ballpark, we said then. It has proven to be such um, now many years later. So um, the uh, feeling of, the, of that era is one of great uh, pride and uh, a lot of work. We did a lot of work, uh, but it was uh, uh, it was something we are enormously proud of.